Hello, I'm Senator Marsh and I'm here with Senator Martine Quesada. This week we wanted to tackle the mother of all voucher expansions, Senate Bill 1452, that sadly passed through the Senate this week. Supporters of this bill claim it helps low-income children go to better schools, but its real impact is draining our public schools of taxpayer dollars and resegregating our schools. 95% of Arizona families choose public schools, and we need to invest in them. And Arizona is still dead last in per-pupil spending, according to a national report by the Education Law Center. It also goes against the will of the voters who overwhelmingly rejected the Universal Voucher Program in 2018. Unfortunately, education funding is a zero-sum game. We do not have enough funding to support two separate education systems, and this bill will take more funding from our children in public schools, leaving them even further behind. We need to make sure all our children are getting a quality, well-funded education in our public schools. The proposal also has several other flaws, including allowing parents to enroll their children in a qualifying school for only 30 days to get a voucher. The state has consistently allowed schools to be underfunded, especially low-income schools. And letting students leave rather than fixing the problem is the wrong way to go. 95% of Arizona parents choose our public schools, but the voucher money that follows a child to a private school takes money away from our kids that are already woefully underfunded in our public schools. Education is the greatest civil rights issue of our time, but having a fully funded school in every neighborhood is by far the most equitable system because local public schools accept all kids and provide meals, services, programs, and connections for all of our families. As a public school teacher, I've seen firsthand the consequences of underfunding our public schools. Let's imagine a state where parents don't feel the need to take their kids out of our public schools. Let's keep fighting for a state that has the greatest public schools in the country.